Hey everyone, it's Darren from Dell. Thanks so much for taking the time to tune in. Today we're going to be talking about some of the software that is available with our rugged portfolio. In particular, I do have our brand new 10 inch rugged tablet and we're going to be taking a look at Rugged Control Center, Dell Optimizer, Dell Peripheral Manager. Uh, these are some of the tools that are available to you and you definitely want to check them out. Let's jump in. So I've got Rugged Control Center opened here and if you've never seen it, you're able to gather quick details if you think about battery life, status, what batteries are plugged in. If I wanted to look at device info, whether it's the asset tag, uh, BIOS version, rugged control center version, you're able to quickly do that. Some of the hardware level features, if YWAN is installed, Wi-Fi, GPS, smart card reader, uh, fingerprint reader, things like that. You then have your programmable buttons. So on the front of the device, you do have two programmable buttons. So I've configured things like the barcode scanner or my long press to pull up a top edge menu. You have keyboard shortcuts that you can uh, configure, uh, the edge menus. So if you want to expand on your keyboard shortcuts and not just rely on P1 and P2, you have edge menus at the side, the top, the bottom, and then GPS config. So uh, taking a quick look at the edge menu. So in the scenario of my top menu, I'm holding my P2 and it's quickly brought up uh, the, the, the options that I've configured there. So you're able to quickly interact with them. Going back to the programming of them, here's where you'd set some of the details, the configs. If you wanted to look at the feature list of all the kind of items that you can Configure, think about Bluetooth, camera, flashlight, you name it. Different modes, airplane mode, stealth mode, if I wanted to cut all signal from the device. If I had any uh, web-based applications, I can configure links there. Um, and then from a setting perspective, right, you have uh, when you load it for the first time, if you wanted to start in a minimized state, drive safe. So if you are, you know, in the vehicle, and you want to blank out the screen, you can set up some of the options there. And then some more granular settings, keyboard backlight. So if you wanted to customize the RGB light settings there, night mode, so if I wanted to protect that and emit certain colors, I'm able to do that. From a barcode scanner perspective, there is a barcode scanner that I've configured here. Um, you can set multi-scan or single SAN and then you have more customization. And then stealth mode, if I wanted to uh, cut the LEDs, LCD, speaker, fan noise, Wi-Fi, GPS, Bluetooth, I can do that directly in RCC and configure you know, a keyboard shortcut for that to toggle stealth mode. Um, but RCC, definitely something you want to take a look at. A lot of cool features to make your rugged device a little more personalized and you have more control at your fingertips. So another tool we're going to be looking at is Dell Optimizer. And if you aren't aware, it's not bloatware. We truly have the most intelligent PCs with built-in AI. And one of the means that we do that is through the use of Dell Optimizer. Uh, so in front of me on my brand new 10 inch rugged tablet, we do have Dell Optimizer installed. Um, if you aren't aware, unique to our precision portfolio as well as our rugged portfolio, we do have the analytics piece. And this is a means to pull workload analysis, system level analysis, or system diagnostics. So to show you a quick example of what you can do with a workload analysis, you can actually chart out your CPU, disk utilization, memory utilization, and GPU utilization and see what's going on uh, from a peaks and troughs perspective, system level analysis, if I wanted to run it for a set number of time because I'm experiencing some uh, anomalies with my device, you can look at the battery, storage, CPU performance, memory performance. Um, and then if you wanted to launch, you know, system level diagnostics using uh, interactions with the Windows OS, you're able to pull you know, additional data. There. From an application standpoint, you can customize up to five applications. It's gonna learn end user behavior and crank out additional performance. So in this sense of this particular demo, I've got my OBS, Paint, VLC, Edge. In a more corporate setting, you'd see maybe PowerPoint, Teams, Excel, things like that. And it's gonna learn end user behavior 
and crank out additional performance. Again, selecting up to five, you have performance metrics directly at your fingertips. Um, moving into audio, we do a ton from an intelligent audio perspective, whether it's filtering out background noise, removing other people's background noise, 3D audio, using the device pop-up. Uh, if you plug in into a audio jack of a different device, you'll be able to see that pop-up and you can align a particular device to that headset jack, whether it was over ear, in-ear, an external speaker, you name it. Uh, so audio optimization, something you want to take a look at. Network optimization, another means where we're, you know, giving our end users priority for video conferencing applications. If you're bridging your, your RJ45 and your Wi-Fi, uh, simultaneous data transfer, things like that. Control from a network perspective. Power, you are able to pull details on your battery health, Right, for instance, brand new battery over here, gonna be rated excellent. Um, if you wanted to apply a particular charge policy, charging mode, if I'm adaptive, primary AC, express charge, standard, custom, um, you have you know, some behavior here. If I wanted to change some of the thermal settings, if I don't want it to be optimized, maybe I wanna see ultra performance, I can toggle ultra performance and it, it's gonna be providing the highest level of performance for that particular device. Or maybe I wanted to run it in cool or quiet mode because I don't want the fan noise and I maybe have, you know, higher surface temperatures. You're able to quickly configure some of that. From a uh, battery life perspective, again, learning how that device is being used, how you want to charge it and how you want to preserve battery. Peak shift, if you want to only charge during specific time of day, you can then configure, you know, hey, do I want to charge overnight when my energy consumption costs go down, you can set peak shift to to assist with that. So a lot of control at your fingertips from a power perspective. And lastly, if you think about presence detection, whether we're doing look away detect or onlooker detection, if I'm working in a coffee shop and someone's creeping over my shoulder, um, this particular device doesn't have the proximity sensor, so I'm not able to bring up the console here for you. But if you do have other devices where you do have the proximity sensor, presence detection is going to give you a lot more capabilities. If I had a external display hooked up to this particular tablet, you'd see the monitor and Dell Display Manager could launch through Dell Optimizer and you'd be able to customize the easier range, your KVM settings and things like that. Um, but Dell Peripheral Manager, I've got a wireless mouse connected to this tablet. So by clicking on that, it's gonna launch Dell Peripheral Manager and I'm able to customize you know, my device settings if I wanted to verify what it's connected to, the different DPI settings, and then more application specific settings because this particular mice uh, was configured to my tablet that's in my hand. Um, but Dell Optimizer, definitely significant value add. You wanna check it out. Um, not just for, for our Rugged products, this video is showcasing Rugged in particular, uh, but it does work with a lot of our newer devices, whether, hey, it's your Optiplex, Precision, standard latitude devices, there is a ton of intelligence that and control that we put at the fingertips of our end users. So um, pretty much that is the video. You know, we did take a look at um, Rugged Control Center. We did look at Dell Optimizer and Dell Peripheral Manager. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for your support. Please feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe. I greatly appreciate the support. Have a good day.